everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really quick and simple little kind of Easter baskets. I actually first made these, which are just little nests with eggs in and there's a chocolate Kit Kat bunny in there as well. And I was just going to drop these around to some of my friends and then I thought it'd be quite nice to have a little basket. And that's when I saw that Trimcraft had put up their free downloads. So I'll share the link to their downloads. They're really, really nice. I haven't printed them all off because this is actually going to be my last Easter project. I might make some bunting and just post some pictures up on my Facebook page. But in terms of tutorials, that will be it. But I have a huge amount of Easter tutorials. So if you do still want to make some last minute crafts, then I'll share the playlist up here, actually. <laughs> um, and there'll be links as well on the blog post. But when they done the downloads, I just saw this lovely gingham print and I just love the soft pastel colours and I thought it would work really well with these gorgeous brads that my friend Kimmy sent me a while ago. I've still got a few left for some more projects but I've, I've kept some for myself you know forever kind of thing and then the rest I'm going to be using on craft projects but they're just really nice. But one of the toppers that you also get with this when you print it all off is this here. I actually um, scaled it down to five by seven because I liked the size of the Hello Spring. So I just cut that out of there with my two inch circle punch. But you've also got, hi, thank you, happy birthday, just a note, just for you. So they're really nice things to just maybe, you know, leave on someone's doorstep. So I've made these, and if I take that out, you can see how it is. Just really sweet, this all moves. They're just really cute. So if you are doing, you know, you've got the children at home and you're doing like a little Easter egg hunt, they would be quite sweet for that as well. But nice as little table favor, favors, favors as well. Very, very quick and easy to do. So I'm just gonna jump straight in to this video. So you just want one sheet of five, seven and a quarter squared. So this is what I've got here. So this is seven and a quarter squared and you wanna score it two inches on all four sides. So two, two, two and two. Now when you cut this, this was printed onto a piece of A4 300 GSM cardstock and I just run it through one piece at a time whenever you want to print onto cardstock. Obviously if you've got a much more um, robust printer than I do then you could probably put more pages in but a lot of people ask how I print onto cardstock and I just feed one in at a time and just print one at a time rather than multiple. But um, when you cut it, if you cut along the eight and a quarter side or the eight and a half side first, you'll get this strip, which is then the handle. Okay, so yeah, when you cut it, you'll see there how mine was together. So it was the other side. You get what I mean anyway. Yeah, there we go. So it was something like that. Okay, and then you've got that section as well, which you can use for your mats and layers if you do want to decorate it a bit differently. But this is all you need. So you just now want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and then you want to pick a side, any side, and you're going to cut up both the score lines to the first score line. Okay, so you've got that square piece there, and then again, you've got the square there. And then just flip it to the opposite end and just cut up those two score lines again. So these are, you know, this took me no time to do these. I whipped them up very quick. And then you just want to cut little wedges off of those four squares. Again, just to make everything nice when we fold it all together. Okay, so you want something like that. It's a very simple box shape, that's all we're doing. And then we're just adding the handle to give it that basket look. So now you just want to add some glue. You can use your tape as well to one of the tabs. Bring it under the side piece and around to create one of the sides or the corners there of your box. Okay, and then go to the next one. And again, bring up that side, just so you get a nice finish there. And then if you go to the opposite end, you can kind of do these at the same time, because you'll be folding it inside that box, so just cover that one. And then that one there. Like I said, just bring them both in, and then it's just much easier and uh, less messy if you're using liquid glue to get those both in there. And you can just, you've got that wiggle room as well, which is always good. Like so. So it's now up to you where you want to punch your holes for the basket. 
I'm doing them on the sides where we've got all this here because it's almost like it's reinforced. So if you've got something that is a little bit heavy, the handles will be able to, you know, hold against the extra layers of cardstock there. So I'm just going to give that a minute to dry. With the handle, so it's the full length of my A4, but if you're using 11 inches then that's fine as well. Just put a nice curve in it and then you just want a hole punch. It's entirely up to you how far up you go. I'd probably say I'm going up three quarters of an inch. So on that end and on this end. You can follow the lines on your pattern as well if you're using something similar like so. And then again, this is the sixth one now so I kind of know where I'm going but I'm just in the centre just pushing it in as far as I can. Again it's about three quarters of an inch down. If you want to again mark it with a pencil just so you know you're getting it all bang on. You can see there. And then you just want to grab your brads. You may not have, you know, brads, you don't have to use these. You could just stick the handles directly either inside with some glue there and you might want to put a decorative, you know, flower or something like a die cut or a stamped image. You can do that as well. And then just pop that through. And you've got that little hinge kind of effect with your handle. And again, bring those two together. And split that open. Just kind of shape it a little bit. But there you have a very sweet and very easy little basket. So now I'm just going to take my foam backing off of there and just pop that in the centre. And you have your finished basket. And how quick was that? So here's my last nest to go in. So this is number six. And I'm just going to sit that in there. And isn't that adorable? Love them. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick little tutorial on just a nice little way to make these little baskets to hold some sweet treats. Like I said, they're great for maybe a little mini Easter egg hunt in your back garden or to have as a little favour on your Easter table. Or it doesn't even have to be Easter themed. It can be a birthday, anything you want. You could put a candle in this as well. But these are now going to be on their way and I'm going to be popping them outside people's doors, knocking, standing back and then seeing their faces when they open the door to see this little gift on the doorstep. So yeah. So thank you for watching today. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing if you haven't so you get to see more fun tutorials and I'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.